I never grew up on Halo. I know that's something that not everyone would expect to hear from someone who has a Halo-esque character speaking, but I never grew up playing Halo at all. I didn't have an Xbox growing up because my parents never got me one, and on top of that they wanted to get me an Xbox 360 at one point, but they recently told me that one of the biggest reasons why they didn't is because of the internet adapter. It was expensive. Honestly, that's that's pretty understandable when, when, I, when I really think about it. But I wasn't allowed to play Halo. The story is that when I was growing up, I had a tendency to take fictional material and believe it was real. The same can be said for the likes of Bionicle. For some time, I thought that the island of Mata Nui was a real thing. It, it wasn't. I wish it was, though. And as I was following along with the story of Bionicle, I was so invested and so enamored by the world and the characters, and I genuinely believed it was real at one point. The thing is, I have ADHD and autism, so growing up, I didn't exactly take things the way that normal people would. I wasn't really one to be able to, to talk to people in a normal way or take things like a normal person would. So when I wanted to get into Halo, my parents were like, no. My mom and dad introduced me to so many things growing up, and when I started getting into Bionicle as a kid, they basically told me uh, they let me get into it because it focused on specific themes. And honestly, that is what drew me into Bionicle. But with Halo, it was militaristic. My parents thought if that I played Halo, I would want to go to the military and serve. I never did, nor do I want to. And the first time I ever actually played Halo was in 2009 on a Games to You truck. I don't know if anyone knows what that is, but if you do, you're one of the real ones. And I remember that day fondly because it was actually around the time that I saw an outdoor screening of the movie Planet 51. Trust me, it's I'm getting there. I know. I know. I, I know. I'm getting there. But they had a Games to You truck outdoors, and there were a bunch of Xbox 360s all lined up in the truck. They always had these uh, multiple TVs with a single 360, and it was a lot of multiplayer co-op games where you could sit down and be sat next to a bunch of other people playing different games. And one of them was Halo 3. I was 11. And this was the first time I ever got to play it. And I remember it fondly. We were on this map, the one I'm on right now, Standoff. And it was me and three other randos. Well, one of them, of course, being one of my best friends at the time. And... It was fun. We just messed around. We looked at each other and we just like we were killing and just having a good old time. That was the first time I ever got to play a Halo game. Ever in my life. I'd been exposed to Halo before. Uh, back in my early elementary years, my friend played it with his dad on, I think it was Halo 2 at the time. And then there was someone at my school who had a copy of The Fall of Reach, the one that had the original cover on it. I asked over and over if I could read it, and they said, no, no, no. Years and years later, I would read it, and I would absolutely love it, which is why I hate the adaptation so much. Uh, if, if you want to hear my thoughts on The Fall of Reach adaptation, I'll gladly make a video, but right now, uh, let's get back on track. I have, I have an issue of getting off track sometimes. So fast forward to 2010. 
343 announced that they were releasing an anime OVA compilation called Halo Legends. I begged, I pleaded, I bargained with my mom and dad to buy that movie. Because if I wasn't going to be able to play one of the games, I wanted to watch this. Halo Legends was my first true introduction to Halo. And I believe I have watched Halo Legends more times than I've watched any other piece of media. Outside of Bionicle or Hot Wheels. Halo Legends introduced me to multiple stories that took place throughout the Halo universe. One of them not being canon, and of course that led to the return of Dragon Ball, but that's another story. Hey, it's me! But... I was so enamored and I loved the atmosphere and I loved everything about Halo Legends. I couldn't stop watching it and the, the soundtrack still connects with me today. I love the Halo Legends soundtrack probably more than the original versions of specific songs. That's how much I love Halo Legends. Then in 2015 I would finally get an Xbox One along with Halo 5 and Halo the Master Chief Collection. This was the Halo 5 version of the Xbox, so it wasn't exactly the best, but it had a terabyte and I was able to play online with my friends for the first time on a console, so it was, it was a good time, because before then, I had nothing but Nintendo. I had Throughout my life, I had a Game Boy Advance, I had a DS Lite, I had a Wii, I had a 3DS, I had a Wii U. But this is the first time I actually went out and got a job and paid for a console on my own. And it was, it was a delight. However, to this day, I have many issues with Halo 5 story. I, I just cannot bring myself to like it in its entirety. I, I, I just don't like it at all. But I came to the realization that I've never really experienced a Halo game at launch. There are a few Halo games that I've experienced technically at launch, like uh, the Spartan Assault, Spartan Strike, Halo Wars 2, but I'm talking about a mainline Halo game. I've always been excited for stuff related to Halo throughout my life. I paid so much attention to the trailers for Halo Reach when that came out, and ODST. I was so invested in this, and I looked up so much about the story, and I got so invested in the characters, and the settings, and the atmosphere of Halo, before I ever even got to play the games. Eventually, I would be able to play all of the mainline Halo games. And I have played all of them. I even went out and got the original Xbox 360 copies of every Halo game that's ever been put on the console. And by that I mean physically. I bought the actual physical discs. I do not regret it. And I'm glad that I got them when I did. Because, well, part of history is coming to an end. I never got to play on the original Xbox 360 servers when I was a kid. I never got to experience the joy of playing in my own house, a LAN party or anything like that. I, I never got to be a part of that. I completely missed out. Completely. Sure, maybe Halo 5, yeah, that, that had its moments, but... I never got to experience that at launch either. I, I only got to experience it that Christmas year, or that Christmas that year. So, I say this because Halo Infinite is going to be the first time I will have ever experienced a mainline Halo game at launch. And now I'm playing all of Halo on my PC, my laptop. Yeah, that, that's right, you heard me right. It's a laptop. And trust me, it's it's powerful enough to run Halo Infinite when it comes out. Don't worry. But it's been forever since I've been able to be just hopeful about something. Just excited for a game. To be able to just sit down 
and play the story and just lose myself in it. I want to be able to do that for the first time. I've played through all the other games, but I never got to play them when they first came out. This will be different. This will be the first time I play a Halo game at launch. A real one. And I know that may sound silly to a lot of people, but... I mean it when I say this. Halo really does mean a lot to me. Halo has shaped my view on storytelling in a very positive way, and being able to make a Halo machinima completely on a laptop now is, is a dream come true. I sold my Xbox. My, I, I don't have an Xbox One anymore. I have a 360, but I don't have an Xbox One. It's gone. Forever. And I don't know if I'm going to get another one. I might get another one, but at, right now, I'm not going to. I've missed out on so much. I've missed out on all of it. I missed out on the excitement for the launch of a new Halo game. I've missed out on the excitement of the launch of Halo 3, the launch of ODST, the launch of Reach, the somewhat lukewarm response to Halo 4, the, well, I didn't miss out on the travesty of Halo 5, but when it comes to any of that, I've always been on the sideline. I've never been a part of it. I feel like I'm always fearful about a video game not living up to expectations now. I've already learned my lesson the hard way when I was hyped for Cyberpunk 2077. I think we all learned our lesson. Some of us saw it coming too, but I didn't. I was hoping that it would be great, but it wasn't. But this, this is a game that I feel will be great. I've been part of the Halo Insider program since late 2019, and being able to play bits and pieces of the game before launch has really shaped my opinion on it. People that I've worked with on stuff have basically done nothing but shit on 343. Whereas, I'm saying it now, I've always been a supporter of them. I've always looked out for them. I've always been hopeful that one day they would deliver us something that we could all just come together and play and just enjoy ourselves. And sure, campaign co-op is delayed and Forge is delayed too, but... None of that matters. It really doesn't. And this is the first time we're going to play an open world campaign in Halo. It's safe to say that I'm hopeful for the future. And on December 8th, I'm going to sit down, ignore everyone and everything. I'm not even going to be in a call. I'm just going to sit down, open up my laptop, and start up Halo Infinite. And let everything else do the rest. This is the beginning of a new era. Whether it's good or bad, it's up to it's up to the developers. Am I trying to get my hopes up? No, but I just want to be able to enjoy something genuinely. Did I mention that Guardians of the Galaxy is the best game of the year so far? It, it really is. Please play it. Please play it. Please. But when it comes to Halo, I know that we've all been burned. We've all been let down. But not as much as Call of Duty and Battlefield fans, let me tell you about that. <laughs> uh, 
I've I've always hated Call of Duty, to be honest. But hey, I've I've got Black Ops now. I can I can play that. I'm just gonna stick to the older Call of Duty games from now on. Same with Battlefield. But for Halo, I'm looking towards the past, present, and the future. And seeing someone that I love show interest in wanting to play the series, it it means a lot to me. They've never played a Halo game before, so being able to introduce someone to the series for the first time is going to be a hell of an experience. So I hope all that goes well. With that said, today is November 15th, 2021, the 20th anniversary of Halo and the 20th anniversary of Xbox. And I say, bring on the future. I'll see you in Infinite. Oh, and don't worry, I'm, I'm still working on stuff in Halo MCC. Don't worry about that. None of that's changing. We'll see what happens with Infinite. For those of you who have stuck with me for a while, I thank you for subscribing. And if you're interested in supporting my work or just donating something, feel free to donate to my Patreon. You can donate whatever amount you want. You'll get access to uh, some behind-the-scenes content for some future videos, including Lambda, if you're interested in that. And that's pretty much it. Also, I, I really I really need some money for voice work. I really want to put myself out there and get paid to do voice work. Please, please, please pay me. I, I want to get paid to do voice work, please. With that said, thanks for watching. See you next video. Have yourselves a wonderful day. And remember that Halo 5 was a mistake. Thank you.